Thank you for joining me on this Tuesday morning. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Thank you for your kind comments, subscribing to this channel and sharing it with others. A lot of good things to come behind the scenes. I'm working on new graphics um, that we don't often see for the Caribbean, uh, Gulf of Mexico, and Central America that we just don't have out there. So thank you for your patience. I'll have this channel up and running fully as we go over the next couple of weeks. Uh, with that said, we've got a couple areas to watch. A lot of anxiety after there, out there, of course, with Fiona and Ian. Again, storms don't hit everywhere. So I want to take you through it in a very measured way. So uh, enough of me, enough of that uh, spiel. Let's get to it and what we got going on out there. And the, these two spots, what we're watching, the one on the right-hand side of your screen, that's the one near Africa. Should stay out to sea, but I monitor everything in case things do weird loops or anything like that. But the run, one right in the middle of your screen, that's the one we're watching. Now, I'm not expecting any rapid development out of that, but we don't need a name system to give us some flooding across parts of the Caribbean. I'll be watching that anywhere from uh, Guyana up through Trinidad and Tobago, and then back through Barbados. And I'm going to break that down specifically. St. Lucia as well, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, uh, Dominica. We're going to be watching out for that chance of some heavier weather moving in. Not a name system, but watching out for some rain and storm. So this system will work its way into the Caribbean. Now, once it gets into the Caribbean, some development is possible. And I'm going to dive into that in this video. We're going to go over the American model, the European model, the heat we're seeing out there in the water. I want to break that down for you ahead in the chances that this could become a tropical storm or a hurricane. Right now, National Hurricane Center on top of it. High development chance with that one on the right-hand side of your screen. The uh, X with the yellow on it. Short-term, slight chance it develops into a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next couple days. Not really seeing that. There is a lot of uh, clouds with it, but it's really off to the east of what would be the center. But in the long term, as this moves into the Caribbean, not a lot of wind shear, very warm water temperatures. So I do expect some at least gradual development out of it. Now, most of the models keep it to the south of Puerto Rico, whatever it is, south of the Virgin Islands, south of the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and even south of Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. Now, a stronger system in the end could drive it a little bit more to the north, say Belize and the Yucatan of Mexico, and we'll get into that. A weaker system would be a little bit more to the south as you get back anywhere from Costa Rica over toward Nicaragua. Now, we get a look at this. I don't always show this. A lot of squiggly lines, but here's this box. I want to just kind of highlight this. A lot of these lines get into that green shading we're seeing there. Point being, I know this is kind of a, a fancier map, uh, but point being, uh, what I'm seeing out of this, most of the models are at least bringing this to tropical storm strength down the road. Right now, it's technically called an invest, which means just an area uh, that's uh, being investigated by the Hurricane Center, something we're watching here too. So as it moves into the Caribbean, these are the spots to watch late this week for a better chance of rain and storms and the possibility of even some tropical storm wind gusts. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, so we get to the ABC Islands, northern Colombia by the peninsula, and northern sections of Venezuela. Monitoring that. And I'm going to get to our islands, other islands specifically in a second, then down the road early next week, Mexico. Mexico, the Yucatan, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica for that chance that there could be a tropical storm nearby. Hard to tell. It's not going to hit all these spots. It's just not. That's a lot of territory there, but uh, these are the areas I just want us to be on the safe side and be alert, so thank you for sharing this channel um, that we could have something headed our way. This is the American model. It did not do very well with Ian's track, but it does show this flaring up, and it is rather similar to the European as far as the track is concerned. So taking you out on time, this is by Wednesday tomorrow. Extra rain over toward uh, Trinidad and Tobago, and again, my new maps will be clearer with uh, you know all our country names on it and that sort of thing, but a lot of rain headed toward either northern Venezuela and the ABC Islands as we get toward Thursday into Friday. Then you see that little L in the middle of your screen. Uh, that's when it starts to develop. So as it passes uh, Aruba, gets closer to the tip of uh, Colombia, a chance it does develop could be a tropical depression as soon as this weekend. This would be by Sunday morning. Little spin up in the Central Caribbean moving into the Western Caribbean. Now this American model has it get stronger. At this point it would have a tropical storm by the time we get into early next week and then either a strong tropical storm, even a Category 1 hurricane that could be approaching somewhere in Central America uh, by the time we get into next week. But I want to caution, if, if you're new to this channel, we don't hype things or anything like that, this is a week from now. But it is plausible that there could be a tropical storm or even a hurricane approaching parts of Central America 
by later next week, but a lot of time between now and then. European model, not as aggressive, shows a buildup of moisture right here. This is by the time we get into uh, tonight, into tomorrow, over toward Trinidad, Tobago, uh, Grenada, and then by the time we get into Thursday and Friday, better chance of rain, the ABC Islands, and then as we swing back toward northern Venezuela, northern Colombia, and then taking you out in time as we get into the upcoming weekend, uh, you could see here a little bit of a spin up, but not showing it as aggressive, which means it stays more to the south. So if it doesn't get too strong, it would stay more to the south, uh, potentially a tropical depression, maybe a tropical storm by the time we get into uh, late this weekend, early next week near Honduras and Nicaragua. So again, a couple of scenarios, a weaker system slides here, a stronger system would be a little bit more to the north. So those are the differences I'm looking at. With that, in the short term, what we know, we know we're going to have a better chance of rain and storms, including some flooding uh, in the eastern Caribbean. Not so much uh, Guadalupe North, although rain chance will pick up some, and we're looking okay, Antigua and Barbuda, Anguilla, and the uh, Virgin Islands. But in this sector here, really Dominica South, especially through uh, Martinique, St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Northern Venezuela, a better chance of some heavier rain, even some severe storms. We've had a lot of lightning around, but a better chance that we get the flash flooding starting tomorrow into Thursday. Not for all of us, but again, those spots that we've seen flooding this season, heads up, we could get more flooding. And to spell this out clearly, by Friday and Saturday, we'd see this system somewhere in the central Caribbean where we may get that development into a tropical depression, the potential of a tropical storm forming by the time we get into the weekend. Then it will slide off somewhere near Central America by the time we get into either late this weekend or early next week, where it could be a tropical depression, tropical storm, or a hurricane, a lot of ifs, but that's how it goes. But again, I'm just trying to give you that early heads up that as this slides from the Central into the Western Caribbean, we could see more and more development out of, the, out of that. Now, the heat content, that's not just the warm water, but the depth of the warm water. It's very warm even deep down. So as something passes this area, Central Caribbean into the uh, Western Caribbean, there's a lot of fuel. So that's one of the reasons I do believe we'll at least see some slow development out of this in the next couple days. And yes, it could be a name system as soon as this weekend. Speaking of which, the next two names on the list are Julia and Carl. Um, so we could see one forming off the coast of Africa, but that would stay out to sea and the potential of another name system in the Caribbean. Got you covered. Thank you for your trust this hurricane season. Thank you for sharing this channel. I'll do my best and we'll get fully up and running as we go over the next few days. I hope you have a great day ahead.